So my name is Masahiko Morikawa uh, from Studio Masachuka. I'm originally from Japan and uh, I have a small sewing business in London. And I think I call myself a modelist. Modelist is the, the someone who can make, uh, who can do the whole process of the garment construction, uh, including pattern cutting and sewing and fitting. So that's what I'm doing. Then also, we also doing uh, lots of Japanese uh, techniques, including sashiko. I have a like, sewing business in London, then, and yes, since 2012, then I lived in, in London for 11 years. Now I live in Belgium, but I come, come to here like every week or two. I didn't have any fashion background or I didn't have any proper fashion education. Actually, I studied business management and, and I was in Canada as an uh, exchange student. Then I just traveled for, to, to Mexico. For, uh, for summer break. Then I was completely flat broken. Then I had to do something for surviving. So I decided to do like story performing as like a calligraphy artist. And that worked really well. Then I could save some money. Then I really like love to uh, make clothing, especially like customizing, like denim jeans. So I bought as many jeans as possible in Mexico and I brought them back to Canada. Then I ordered a Japanese printed fabric from Kyoto. Then I started customizing my uh, yeah, denim jeans. Then I, yeah, I was doing that project for a year. But yeah, after I graduated the uni, I completely stopped. Then I started working for the company in Singapore. But after working like three or four months, I kind of get bored of working, like in like office work then. And I really wanted to continue the project that I was, I was doing at the uni. Then I decided to leave the company. Then I came back to my hometown. Then I tried to do the same things, but uh, I didn't have any skills or monies or anyone. So yeah, so I decided to learn like the garments construction. So I started searching for the like, sewing factories in my area. Then I found one factory. Then luckily the, the owner, he hired me as a seamstress and my career started. Then I worked there for about four years, like from morning to midnight every day. Then I could gain lots of like skills and uh, you know, the knowledge. Then, yeah, I might, I met my, my wife in, in Japan and then, and we had a long distance relationship, but it was quite hard. So I, but also I really wanted to, well, try myself abroad. So we decided to come to UK and, and the UK is really famous for tailoring and that is my, my background and my specialty. So I, I tried like Sabi Rose, but, uh, but well, I couldn't get any job offer from them. So. But luckily, I got a job offer from the factory based in uh, South London. Then I started working as a uh, like studio manager. Then after working one year there, I met uh, one uh, fashion designer. And she can design, but she cannot make clothing. And I cannot design, but I can make clothing. So we decided to work together. And we set up like small fashion brand. And yeah, then that's how my company, uh, my company is called Studio Master Trigger. And yeah, that's how it started. When the pandemic started, our business is badly like damaged. And we kind of lost like 80% of our orders and most of our clients, they just you know, they closed down. So we basically, we didn't have anything to make. So, but at that time, like people, you know, there's a like, huge demand for the face masks. So we started making face masks, like donation based. And then, yeah, then we were basically making face masks for two years. And eventually we made like 20 to 30,000 face masks. Then, and yeah, then we also started selling like Japanese craft tools. And the, the, some of the items are Sashiko related items. And that's how yeah, Uniqlo found them because Uniqlo, they tried to launch the re-Uniqlo studio, which offering like a repair service. And they want someone who can train their staff and also yeah, making like upcycled items. And one of their menu is like Sashiko repairing service. And yeah, so they found me through the 
because then we are sailing the Sashka tombs. And that was a uh, uh, 22, so it's the last year. Yeah, then, yeah, so we st we providing their staff training and uh, we also do the workshops, yeah, with them. And the, one of the biggest uh, project is uh, making upcycled garments with using their 40 items. I was really lucky enough to, yeah, invited the, the special event uh, held in Buckingham Palace, uh, yeah, hosted by King Charles. Yeah, I never expected I could talk to him like in person, but uh, yeah, I was I realized I was nominated to one of the, the guests who can meet and talk uh, to him and, and royal, a member of the royal families. And I made the upcycled kimono suit specially for the event. And I add lots of sashiko stitches and collar and the sleeves. Then I could yeah, explain to him about the outfit and he seemed really interested. Yeah, I've been living in Europe for now it's uh, 13 years now and uh, since I was away from Japan, I'm away from Japan, I started to feel like uh, more I'm Japanese. Then we are making clothing, but not only clothing, we try to deliver like Japanese culture through craft and, and clothing.